Hello and welcome to another exhilarating video. Uh, today, I thought to myself, this is all good. It works and stuff, maybe. Uh, but the knob is broken and uh, I haven't got Bluetooth. I guess it was alright 10 years ago, but now I'm not satisfied with it. And I've got a few head units a few head units lying around from my previous cars so I thought I want to have Bluetooth in my Audi A2 and I've got this Sony explode whatever explode so first thing to do is take this uh, old unit out and to do so you need these little knives you push them in there's like little slots there and there one there Boop. and one there in the original head unit and you put them in like that so this bit goes into the inside of the inside of the um, unit push them in until they lock you are off and then what you do is pull, pull, and it takes out the old unit. And then you just unplug a few sockets on the back. Calm down, it's only a head unit. Uh, press on the side, press on the side, out. Side out, side. You don't want to go out. This is out, and antenna is out. Okay, so that's the old unit majiggy out. I'll just release release the locking device and put this here for now. Okay, so what you got here? You got this cable, which I have no idea what it does. Uh, no, I have no idea what it does. Uh, this is antenna, and this is all sorts of uh, Audi controls, and this is um, speakers. You got four wires coming in, four speakers. And this is the bottom one. It goes like that. So the brown. Let's see. It's there. You see, everything's written there. So the brown one on this one is Earth, and the red and white one is plus or positive. Okay. So see if I can connect it. <sighs> what do we have here? We have a socket which has... Uh, this is remote. This is gonna be for later, I think. Because I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna stop with just... Um... Oh, it's very hot in here. Open some windows. don't think I'm gonna stop with this I want better speakers and I want subwoofer in the back and maybe a later or well, you know even fancier head unit later on but at the moment I just want Bluetooth in my car because this one doesn't have antenna or it does that's the original one and I think yes, yes, there's another cable there for another antenna, but it's not connected because I think they've just before the the guy who sold it to me unscrewed it from the top, so that's why the radio doesn't work. 
and I thought I'll start driving this car soon. I better get some tunes in here. Okay, so first thing to do is to try and connect it, see whether it works without fitting it first. So this is the speakers left and right okay and then the the other the other uh sockets that i didn't know uh, there are for telephone navigation uh, navigation controls and everything so the red one you don't need at all because that's for in my case i don't have any uh, buttons on the steering wheel so i can't uh, I can't mute or answer the phone, so this is not required. And the this complicated one, which is at the top, has all sorts of connections. I can see CD, data route, uh, data in. Uh, all sorts of connections that I will not need for later on. I only need power and speakers at the moment so I can clear my tunes. So this is just a quick click. That works. But looking at this, I need to change the cable because at the moment I need to put the red, so yellow, on this one yellow is the uh, positive, or the plus, so I need, just double check, what was it, ground, 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 so brown one is ground, so in this case it will be black, so it's fitted correctly, but I just need to refit this red one into this position if you can see i don't know from there from far away let me just check uh... okay so what i need to do is get a screwdriver a uh, better a trusty one and what you do is see that this is too big so i had a uh, smaller screwdriver somewhere where did I put them? Shiny ones. Ah, they're under me. Ah. Okay. Small ones. See? Small, even smaller, thinner. So, you need to press, press on the contact. See? And then it comes out. There's like a little lip there, little lip there, that's what's holding it in. So when you put the screwdriver in, whoop, you press on it and it releases. So now let's put it in the correct position where we need it to be and let's see what happens if we get sparks or it will work connection so now in should it work or do i need to put the key on no Okay, some things, maybe the the red one doesn't mean now. No, it doesn't, still doesn't work. Oh, the connection. Hmm.
although I do not know what's happening at the moment whether the head unit is wrong or bad or you know it doesn't work I'll probably get another head unit which is this one Sony so I'll get another head unit and we'll try and connect another head unit see if there's a head unit problem or uh, my connections are wrong welcome back <laughs> welcome back you never left I've got some head units, um, extra head units, that we're going to try and connect, see whether that head unit that I was trying is bad, broken. Okay, so this belongs to this, this one is a Pioneer. Come on, Pioneer, come on. Show me the money. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. So I think that head unit is either wired incorrectly or might be might be wired incorrectly I'll double check but this one works uh, whatever 12 o'clock FM quit yes oh beautiful colors Uh, I left a CD in that one, so let's get get it out and try it. Bottom is it bottom one? Bottom one. Bottom one. Safe mode. <laughs> Thank you. You will not be required anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, eat. There's a, there's already a CD in here. Look, and it's Bon Jovi. Play it. See what he's got. the front I can hear the speakers only front speakers working because I've only got yes uh, so I will get uh, cables from the back into here when I've got it all connected so then I will connect it all from here and then I will connect I will probably buy a new head unit if this one doesn't work because I need the sub out because uh, I will be connecting the sub so this one works all I need to do now is fit this in and put this in there and that will be done and then I'm just gonna have to order uh, some side panels for this um, I might even have them so now what you do is disconnect enough of Bon Jovi at the moment so now we do is put this one on here see whether it fits it should all be standard okay so I will be needing only two okay so now what you need to do 
this one. Okay. Okay, this one has different, different uh, mechanism of removing it. Uh, these, these will not fit anymore because I will have to find I had somewhere uh, for this release those two arms. So what you do now is put this in, feed the cables through. just wiggle it in there you can see and now you've got like these triangular bits which you can press and lock this thing into place so it doesn't move about so what you do is press on them and they go in and they trap this thing and then you can trap your head unit in this thing okay so press those here press those here so it doesn't lock there we are fitted now boom boom feed those other cables at the moment because i haven't got an antenna because i need to buy an antenna then i will connect the antenna and find out where the other cable of antenna is from and then I can sort it out that this will have to do for the moment it works and it has Bluetooth and that's all I need because I'm I will be listening from my phone so successful operation to get the mu music ready for when I start to drive uh, source radio CD let's see it's just double check whether it works yes it works beautiful nice I don't know whether the video will get pulled because there's Bon Jovi playing on my radio but it's playing on my radio so that's it for this video, when I have more, more news and more updates I will update you on what's happening here, what's happening there, what's happening in the back, where we'll have the cables to the back, uh, it's gonna be a long project I think. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you, if you like, if you don't like please subscribe as well. And goodbye.